Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the first in a new series, a new playlist. You may wonder what I'm doing here. This is the Racing Sim Tools Motec equivalent, it's their newest version. It's been out for a little while now but I haven't pressed the button to really, really go in and, and have a look at it. But today, as you know, as you saw from my post last week, I've had my first chance to have a little bit of a play around with it and just I wanted to give my first impressions um, just very first outing a couple of things I had some niggles with uh, but overall I want to give you a bit of a okay this is what it is and is this going to be good is this something gonna, we're going to use going forward or or is this going to be something that's going to be going to be quite difficult for us so let's dive in um, first of all website is all right Okay, so that's the, the sort of, it's just kind of there. The, the thing for me to note, and it's it's one of the things that people say to me, is, oh yeah, RST, um, you know, uh, it's great, but it, it costs quite a lot of money, doesn't it? It's, it's a subscription-based tool, and, and actually, don't be fooled by that, because while, while you know, this, this website's all pretty, if you go to the sort of software section, and then click under subscriptions. You've got a few options here. So you've got um, a sort of monthly one to all of the games that they support. So everything from iRacing to Automobile Ballista, everything, right? You've got the option to do it monthly, yearly, and actually you have the option to get its like, pro racing driver, but it's, it's Niels from Red Bull's data either on a monthly or a yearly subscription. Little, you know, few discrepancies for me. Obviously, $7 a month um, doesn't quite add up. Uh, sixty dollars a year the saving isn't as big on the data as it is on the license but if you want uh just one game which is what i've done i've just pur purchased the acc license then it's fifteen dollars flat fee um for forever more really which is which is pretty good value if you think uh, people are spending a lot of money on on setups and the like so for a slightly different experience slightly cleaner experience potentially then then i think that's probably a worthwhile investment support on the website is pretty naff if i'm honest but um you know they've got a discord and it seems pretty active and a lot of the engineers on there are, are, are really responsive so you've got access to zach stefan and cameron on there as well as a, a lot of other people who are obviously used to using the tool in a bit more detail so that's great so that's Go ahead and have a little bit of a look at, at what things look like, right? So most people are used to looking at the MoTeC tool. Um, this is obviously similar screen. You have your laps on the left-hand side. You've got all these different options across the top. Looking at a, a sort of lap comparison, normal parameters that we get on this screen, and and, and actually, I, I think you know it's really great. The upside and downside of, of the MoTeC program is that it's very customizable, right? So if you're starting from scratch, you need to build your own workspace, you need to know what you're doing with the engineering. If you've got one, that's great. And, and I'll put a link to one in the um, in the description below because there's a couple of good ones that I use on the MoTeC side of things. But the great thing about RST is it, it gives you the workspace ready and it's just one workspace. So it's, it's optimized for what it's got is much better than being able to do a, a thousand different things and actually i think it looks a lot more modern with these colors they're a lot, lot easier to to look at really the histograms are nice and clear you can adjust all the axis all that sort of things it, it, it's really good actually um just from a visual standpoint it, it seems to be far more effective for me a lot more cleaner which is one of the things that i'd like to look for in an application where i'm you know i'm going to be using it a lot being able to actually use it properly is, is really important and be able to get those differences, those nuances in setups and telemetries quickly and straight to the point is, is super important for me. Um, I did have a couple of issues, mind. I did, uh, you know, I've got to talk about these things. Um, setting up the car, as you see here, uh, uh, this is the ride height graph. I, I just, I didn't have any data in it, um, which I was a little bit baffled and it wasn't just me, one of my... Um, one of my friends who, who downloaded RST at the same time as me was all going to be working on it together a little bit. Um, we, we just couldn't work out why. And you can see, you know, this this axis on this graph is completely wrong. It says ride height and we're in sort of 0.05 millimeters, which obviously isn't isn't right. So didn't realise that you had to sort of input your uh, your car and all the different details, um, not just for this car but for, for every new car that you go on so it's a bit of a downside for me it's not quite as easy to just set up and go 
It's a lot of different things you need to do here. You need to select your car. You need to input a lot of this data, which I'll show you in the next video in the series. What we're actually, you know, how you end up setting this, uh, all these data from damping to suspension and wheel rates, and customize it for each time you you change something in each car. And it's it, from that perspective, it's a little bit more frustrating. But actually, if that means that it's going to be more accurate in the long run and give you better data and, and you're going to be, inter be able to interpret it better for for what you're going to use it for then then i think that's probably a trade-off that i'm i'm willing to make but there are definitely some some things that i would improve in that process but like i said we'll go through that um in in the next video which will be out sort of sometime before christmas um let's compare it quickly to the one that you guys all know so this is obviously motec the colors are all all there and and the this graph is clear enough right um you can't adjust the axis um manually it does it sort of automatically for you which is which is cool um but there's a unless you know what you're doing right so the reason i like rsd because it limits you to what you can do in a good way with motec this you know unless you know what you're looking at here this this graph is complete gobbledygook okay all sorts of different elements that unless you actually have a manual that you you're going to sit down and read and and if you've got your workspace from someone else and this is how they've set it up you're not going to know that, that you know, everything that you're looking out for on these these graphs you're not going to know everything that you're you're looking for and actually i think it looks kind of old school in the way that it's it's a de it's definitely a black background it's it, 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 well, lime green on the black just strikes me of that old sort of terminal speak one thing that i know you can do on motec is is narrow down on a particular corner or straight and i, I i'd imagine you can do that on rst but i haven't figured out how yet just from my initial play so do comment in the um comments below just to just let me know if you know how to do that already i'm, I'm learning as much as you guys and the idea behind this is i'm going to be documenting what happens over the next few few weeks and months and we're, we're going to be building a project car together so this is the sort of start of, of project rst and we're going to see how we get on we're going to do some coaching with it we're going to do some telemetry setup with it it's, it's going to be it's going to be really good the rst does come with is this this excellent manual it's long it's over 200 pages long right but what it does do is it takes you through all setting all the all the nightmare that i had of setting up the initial sort of cars it takes you through that it takes you all, all through each of the different areas one by one what to expect from them this is the damping histogram that you're all used to seeing what yeah what what to expect how to get those expected values from your car things to try while you're tuning so from an actual user point of view this manual to start with if you're not very experienced with tuning is probably more valuable than the actual software right and so this is your tool to interpret exactly what's going on it's a whole table of contents you can see there's diving deep into some really interesting areas like car's center of pressure and and tire temperatures within certain windows for certain tracks and in situations there's loads of different stuff that you can delve into in, in that manual and that's just the beginning of your learning curve so if you're really into that sort of thing then then rst is definitely for you they, they give you the basics to work with and that's obviously one of my gripes with motec is could because it's so customizable you're sort of just thrown into the deep end on someone else's workbook and, and off you go so there's my first impressions then i think as a summary much cleaner than than motec is in in my opinion and the in the way it looks visually i think it's definitely a bit of a nightmare to set up initially but we'll go through that as i said um and I think in the long run, it's going to be really good for us because there's a lot more information and usable information on the tool, which is which is always nice to see. Um, I hope this was was okay for you guys. I just wanted to give my first impression, just just immediately straight out of the box. I've only been using it for a couple of days. Um, if you if you're up for more RST content and comparing it to Motec, we're going to do more coaching, tuning, telemetry analysis, all that good stuff. Then, then do hit that subscribe button because the channel's ever growing. We're going to do more and more of this. It's going to be really fun. 2021 is going to be huge. Lots of exciting things to come. And if you're not in the Discord already, then I'll drop the link in below. Go join. It's me and Sean Arnold, TFC Arnold, you may know him as. Um, we want loads and loads of racing through there and, and sort of a shared calendar. So it's, it's one to look out for. Go and join the discord and, and it's all about having fun doing some great driving till next time guys see you then